I don't know. Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with us. This is my cousin Megan, in case you don't know. Um, we're going to my brother's girlfriend's graduation, graduation party. party. So we're just going to put our makeup on and tell you about our favorite products. And we'll be using Pure Rebellion Cosmetics Eyeshadows um, for various things. Eyeshadow, yes, highlighter. Highlight. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. So, uh, we just washed our faces and moisturized and stuff. So, yeah. Um, we're just gonna hop right in. And yeah, let's start it. This. I got a sample of Max Prep and Prime Skin Base, which I really like the Max Prep and Prime stuff. I use their Prep and Prime highlighter as a concealer, actually. It's like a little glittery, and I'm not a fan. Okay, that's a no. Well, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Mattifying Primer because it's definitely my favorite primer. Definitely uh, keeps the excess oil back. Keeps you matte. Um, I'm going to use, because the MAC Prep and Prime has glitter in it, not a fan. Um, I'm going to use the number 7 Beautifully Matte. I really like this, even on days when I don't wear makeup, I put a little bit like in my T-zone and it does keep me matte just because I have oily skin. But today, Katie is letting me try this. I'm trying the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. Um, I haven't really been wearing a lot of foundation this summer, so I'm just going to mix it in with my primer and we're going to we're gonna see if I come out looking like a glazed donut <laughs> or a greasy mess. Never a bad thing to look like a glazed donut. Yeah. Um... Uh, the concealers I'm going to use today, the Sephora Bite Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I have buttercream and custard. Buttercream is really light, so I only use a little bit of that underneath my eyes and to highlight my oh, face. Shit. So, <laughs> Kat Von D almost fell to the floor. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to conceal... My favorite brow pencil is actually the ColourPop brow pencil, the skinny one. I don't know if they have a thicker one. Like I just like thinner brow pencils. My only beef with ColourPop is that you roll it up and like you can't roll it back down. True. I have ColourPop too. I actually really like, I have the NYX one. Oh, I have that too. I like that too. But, but ColourPop's just like, it's just the tiniest bit thinner. <laughs> Yeah, we got some good natty light coming through. Just call me Jake is a no foundation. Okay, so I'm going to take this Milk Makeup Cream um, Lip and Cheek Stick thing and use it as a blush. I think it's in Perk. So I just dab it on my cheeks and then I blend it out with my Beauty Blender. My Beauty Blender. Why does my voice sound like that? I'm actually going to use foundation to conceal my brows. Because this was the foundation that I was getting. It's just a L'Oreal True Match. Um, but it doesn't match my skin. Because, you know, I didn't tan. And then to set the rest of my face, I also just got this in my boxy charm box. Boxy charm, that bitch. Uh, it's a Bare Minerals uh, compact translucent powder duo. 
and it comes with a matte shade and a highlight shade but I'm just gonna use the matte shade because I'm gonna highlight because I'm gonna highlight with the pure rebellion eyeshadows later so do I want to put on some foundation probably not oh my god that was wet <laughs> that's what she said I know that's it. like literally see, every time I, so I say that I think I'm Michael Scott Look at that. That was all in my beauty blender. I think there are still soap sets in my beauty blender. What soap do you use? Um, baby soap, Dr. Bronner's, face wash, whatever. I okay. So now that my face is set. You're done your face already? Yeah. Maybe I should just wear foundation. It's too late. You it's have too it. late. So now I'm going to bronze my face and I'm going to use this middle shade here. And this is my favorite bronzer brush. The Morphe 527. It's super fluffy. So I'm going to try and not give myself a bronzer oh. helmet. You know what I was going to try today? Because I'm feeling frisky. What? So I have these, and last summer these were like all I was using. Well, I guess I already concealed and set my concealer, so it was a little light for the highlight stick. But this is the ColourPop. Oh, I don't know if they ha they have these anymore. Are you contrary? They don't have them anymore. No, I don't think so because I was looking. Nobody liked them because they. Suck. Sorry, I don't think they suck. <laughs> I don't think they suck. <laughs> I don't think they suck. <laughs> But I got these when it was literally like the highlight stick and the contour stick. Like there were no other shades. So this is like the one I got. But I mean, um, let me not roll this all the way up. There's a lot of product. Yeah, what the hell? Why'd you get a different color when I released this was the only color they had? So this is Katie's. Poopy and brown. Yikes. Yeah, that's literally shit brown. Poop brown. Yeah. And this is mine in Renaissance Contour. Uh, they're all kind of shit brown. Mine's a warmer Yours is shit. It's like red, yeah. Not red. Yeah, maybe but I'm like, going to work with both of them, actually. Actually, maybe I'll contour today. Am I feeling it? I contour every day. You every contour day every I wear day? Makeup. Every day I wear makeup. Yeah. I'm cool. contour. I feel like it's just too much work for me. I think Katie should use this. This is the NARS brush. I think it's Ida. Not sure. Um, I like this because it's good if you don't like Go like that and then you can just go like that. You know. I'm very professional. Maybe I'm doing it wrong and maybe that's why. Probably. 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 Yeah. Actually, I'll do my brows first. I'm gonna use this dark shade. Um, it doesn't have a name. Oh, it's wet or dry. Interesting. Wet it. No. Yeah. I can't wet. take risks when I'm going out in public. I already contoured my face. What if it looks terrible? It doesn't. I'll let you leave. Okay, fine. So it's wet. I'm going to try it wet. I'm going to just... Encourage your friends to do new things. Just to use a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus and dip that crap in there. Attached. I'm not attached. That was funny. She didn't laugh. Okay. You never get attached. So yeah.
All right, what kind I of look I should left. I go? I think I should go peachy, because I'm wearing peach. I'm still doing my contour. <laughs> what do you think? No, I'm going to set with some powder. Okay, this is a Forever 21 face brush. The shit. They be banging. <laughs> Seriously. I'll just go through the shades. The Pure Rebellion shades. Yes, so... This is all 12 shades. Sorry, they got a little beat up. Um, I use them every day. Sometimes, twice a day, if I have to do my makeup multiple times, like today. Um, I have them in order. Well, maybe I should do this. I have them in order of the numbers that I use on my website or my Etsy shop. Um, Ow, my ankle. The, so this is 18 Lady. It's a purple, uh, lavender, lavender purple. Um, I think it's more of a satin shade than like a full on shimmer. Um, but if you uh, choose to apply it wet, like with uh, Fix Plus or whatever wow. other kind of setting spray or water or whatever you like, um, it does come off more shimmery slash metallic. Okay, so this is Lady. Um, I think my face smells like that. So this is Lady. As you can see, it's not like super shim shimmery or um, like overly pigmented. Like it's manageable to use. Um, buildable. If you want to use, yes, it's buildable. Um, but if you're just like starting out with makeup, but you like purples, um, it's easy because you can't really over apply it. And then next yeah. we have Gel, which is a beautiful orange copper shade. Um, can I use a big fluffy brush? Kind of pack. Um. So in pictures online, Joe and Fatties do look very similar, but actually when you go to apply them or swatch them or anything, they look completely different. But both are definitely very like orangey tones. Yeah. Um, very nice for summer, I think, and spring. Um, so I'll swatch Joe real quick. I'll just show you on my finger. That's what it looks like. Um, this one is super shimmery. I really like it. Okay, and then next we have Pearl. Um, the is one this a I brush. I bought it for Halloween when I was a cat. Um, this one, it's basically just a um, reflect pigment. It doesn't really have a lot of color payoff, um, like, just to wear. But when it reflects in the light, it's a beautiful copper. Think of Joe as a highlight, almost. Joe? Pearl? Yeah, Pearl. Yeah, but pearl like, think like, of, like, Pearl. Um, it reflects the way Joe is colored almost yeah does that make of, sense yeah. yeah so if you can see i have no idea if you can see but if not i will insert swatches um that's pearl uh that's really nice i like to use it a lot on my cheekbones and inner corner and then next um we have kingdom which is a beautiful deep chocolate brown um with gold pretty gold um reflex again yeah. this one looks kind of similar on my website to Lovable, but they actually look completely different too. Lovable is definitely way more bronzy and gold, where Kingdom is more of like a true chocolate brown, just with gold shimmers in them. So that's Kingdom. I like to use this in my outer corner to um, add some more definition. Next, we have DD. Um, this is actually one of my favorite shades. It's a mauve purple kind of color. Um, perfect if you want to play with color. Yeah. So this you can still wear every day. I wear it to work and stuff. It's very nice. Um, and it's a shimmer shade again. Kind of like a brownie purple. But more purple than brown. Um, very nice. And then next we have pepper, which I um, use as a crease color to define my crease, obviously. Um, so I designed formulated pepper to be a crease shade so the pigment um, payoff isn't like overwhelming when you swatch it because when you're defining your crease you don't want to just dip your brush in and then overload the color you want it to be just like a gradual transition biddable. shade yeah transition shade so when you swatch it it doesn't really look like much but when you use a flush fluffy brush like this or i don't know like this morphe brush which i use a lot in my videos um it definitely does a good job defining your crease, and it's like a cool brown, almost gray color, so it's a little different, and I actually don't have anything like it in yeah, my collection. Sure. So, 
I'm a uh, 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 uh. next we have Yasne. It's Polish for light. Um, this one is perfect if you don't wear eyeshadow and you want to start trying to. It's very very neutral. Um, pretty much goes with any look. I'm so um, gold beige with maybe a little bit of a pink undertone. Um, you can also use it to highlight your cheekbones as well. Sorry. I have a picture of Brooke um, on my Instagram wearing it and it looks bomb. Happy graduation party, Brooke. Bomb. Yes. Um, and then next we have Humble, which actually, when I made it, I really didn't think I was going to use it as much as I do because I don't typically go for like black smoky eyes. I can't reach it. You're going to knock the table over. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, but I actually love this shade. So in certain lights, like when I look in my mirror over here, it reflects like a green color, but it's kind of like a silvery oh, black. Don't just keep talking. Don't uh, wait for me. I'm so that's kind of what it looks like. Um, again, I use this a lot in my outer corner, but... You can also just, um, so the next, this one, oh, and by the way, I picked the worst pressed ones Yeah, she takes the worst out of the So, batch. like, if they turn out really bad, I just keep it for myself, and then I use them. Yeah, I can even vouch for that, like, the ones that I've gotten, and, like, they're nice. Yeah. Like, pepper, it pressed in two separate, like, tries, so that's why yeah. it kind of looks like that. Yeah. But OG Gar, my God, so freaking cool. I love it. It's a true yellow, definitely, um, but it does reflect green. Like, if you look in certain lights, I do have a green pigment in there. But uh, this color is really great for summer and spring if you want to do something a little different. Um, you can use it all over your lid or, you know, okay. wherever you want. That was, like, one of my first ones. Yeah. That's why it's broken. Cause I didn't have this is one of the first ones that Katie literally hand-pressed. Yeah, it didn't work out. That's why it's all broken. Yeah. Okay, so next we have Lovable, which I spoke about before. Um, bronzy, but definitely a, a deep uh, brown. This color is also super duper pigmented, so you really only have to use a little bit. What color is this that we're talking about? Lovable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, definitely a bronzy color. Uh, makes you look like a bronzed goddess. Um, and then I'm going to skip fatties and let um, Megan talk about that one, and she'll tell you the story behind the name. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about Ice Cold real quick, and then I'm going to actually start my makeup. Um, ice Cold. Wow. This one's fun. I named this one, too, because you know how that song, it's like, what's cold than being cool? Ice, ice Cold! Uh, by Outkast. So, it's blue, obviously, as you can tell. Um, and when you swatch it, it has a blue pigment. But when you blend it out, like when I use this brush, wow. I can use it to highlight my face. Megan yeah. actually has a picture. But it reflects like a really nice blue. It's like an icy color. Can it's literally that. blinding, honestly. It is really, really nice, though. I like it. And, and it's I like, think it's wearable for every day. Yeah. Because it's like really subtly blue. And the thing that I like about it being like, so this is awkward angle. It being subtly blue is, so you know how they have um, highlights that are white, but then they go like pink or purple? I feel like those, because they're kind of like warmer shades, those aren't as wearable because they just kind of can look like shimmery blush. But the blue is really cool toned, and because it is on the cooler tone, it still does look like a highlight. So, every day. Not that deep. Okay, so I'm going to start putting pepper into my crease with this fluffy brush. And Megan is going to tell you about fatties. Oh, right. Where is that? Where is that? Oh, sorry. I can't get comfortable. So this is fatties. So I, well, so I got back into watching beauty YouTube videos, but really it's just this girl, Jay Kissa, and she had been doing a lot of peach eyeshadow looks. So I was like, oh my, well, first she did a look with the sweet peach palette, but she did it with like the unboxing. So I was just overwhelmed and I was like. <laughs> I need the sweet peach palette now. And then I told Katie and she was just like, I can just make you a peach. So she did. And because I have a group chat with my friends and we call it the fatties, like P-H-A-T-T-I-E-S. And you know, like peach emoji fatties. So 
I named it after my group chat because I love them. And here's a swatch. We're going to try this again. It does look like gel in the pan, but it's nothing like gel. It is RNG based and so is gel. But, um, actually like... Fatty's is definitely lighter and yeah, more pink. Yeah, honestly, you can kind of... I mean, I don't yeah, know you can, can see the difference see, in the pan. But it's just like in pictures, they don't really like look different. But I'm they just going to put my hand here and twist it in front of the camera and hope that you are getting something. Um, I really like fatties a lot. So shout out to my fatties. I love you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do with my makeup today. So maybe I'll just highlight first because that's all I really care about anyway. Okay, actually, I'm going to go into my inner corner, or my inner corner, my crease, with um, a Pure Billion Cosmetic Shadow that has not been released. Hate on it. It's my favorite. Out of everything, like even fatties, it's my favorite eyeshadow. Out of any eyeshadow in the entire world. I'm not, I'm kidding. Or, or I'm not kidding. <laughs> Also, I feel like this shade, which she keeps telling me she's going to release soon, I feel like it makes my green eyes pop. It does. And now I'm going to put fatties. Just a touch of OG Gar as my inner corner highlight. I don't want to look like I have jaundice. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Thank you for getting powder all over my pan, my palette. I'm gonna use Yasmin as a highlight too. I've actually never tried it because I just thought it was too dark well, for me. But I, I don't know because you posted that picture of Brooke wearing it. Yeah, it looked so good. Yeah, because I never thought of Yasmin as a highlight either. Something I like to do to really make my highlight. Ew! Yes. Uh, yes. Oh my god, it's leaking. To make it um pop. <sighs> Why is it leaking? I like to spray Mac Fix Plus on my face. Oh, oh! I just spray it straight on the brush, and then dip it in. Yeah, I just spray it straight and on. apply it. What? Gives it more of like a metallic kind of like. Definitely like just amps it up. <laughs> I just have that greasy bitch glow. <laughs> just kidding, I don't. I'll be greasy by the end. I'm actually day. glowing because I hydrate. I hate that water bottle. To be honest. With you. 
It makes too much noise and it freaks me out. Wait, what is that sound? It is a really loud lo um, water bottle. I like it because it's easy to just like, you know. I uh, glue down those brows now with the brow gal. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. Okay, can we? Sp So I'm just going to set my face once. I like to set my face like four different times. Um, <clears throat> I just got this. So after I set my face, I like to pounce my beauty blender in. Just so that like everything gets absorbed. Yeah, oh, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones or my, my color bones for you too. Oh. Okay, what you got? How many you got? Oh, oh, that's it? You only do a mascara? This is like the best mascara. I, I have know. 11 different mascaras, and that's low estimate. I have, I have a mascara problem. Okay, I'm going to put this on my For highlighting your collarbones? Oh, no. I think I'm gonna use um, Megan's favorite brush. That would be I, the Luxie 640 for Pro, your Pro Precision Tapered. It's just so pretty. I'm bring this. Nothing is worse than sticking your fingernail in eyeshadow or any kind of makeup. I'm gonna pick up Yasne. Okay, so I got the Bite Beauty Amus Bouche Lipstick in Thistle. Hands down, my favorite lipstick of all time. And I washed it, so I had to buy another one. But I had 10% off, so oh, I was right, just right. like, YOLO. So, uh, so I'm actually going to finish my look with taking my favorite brown eyeshadow, Katie's, and just smudging it along my lower lash line, because I like that. I feel like I look like a clown. Hopefully Megan gets done soon. You know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Can you see it underneath my eye? Like, can you see yeah. it there? Yeah. Alright, camel spit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. To whoever makes that. Hello? Hello? <coughs> okay. I'm ready. Hey guys, so the camera actually died right when we finished our makeup, so we decided to, and we had to go, so we decided to film like the outro and the goodbye now, because, um, so we put on our makeup, specifically the eyeshadows at 5.07. Well, we were done at 5.07. Yes, so. we were done at 5.07. It's now 10.02. So if you five want, we can later. wait five more minutes to make it legit, but we just wanted to like keep you guys kind of like updated and let you know like how the eyeshadows lasted and everything. And I guess we can get a little, like, close to the camera. And, again, it was, like, 90 degrees out. We were outside for Yeah, and we were playing Can Jam hours. for a while. So, like I said, I have the brand that Katie hasn't released yet. But we were talking to Brooke about it today, and now we kind of have, like, a name for it. So hopefully it'll release soon. You guys are probably already zoomed in on, like, my pupil or something. And then I had Jasney on my inner... Jasney, ho. Jasney, sorry. Yasni. I had Yasni like right in here and then in my inner corner and then also my highlight and then my underbrow highlight as well and then um and then yeah honestly okay another just a word about my primer it was a number seven like stay matte or like beautifully matte or whatever and I didn't even really set with that much powder and I'm still like 
like matte. Like I'm really not You're that matte. greasy at all. You only blotted yeah. one time, which is amazing yeah. for five hours. Yeah, honestly, like I think if you can find that primer, I think number seven is sold at Target. You should definitely look at that. And Ulta, I think. Ulta. I'm just trying to hook you up. Okay, so now it's going to be Katie's turn. Get out. Don't scare them. <laughs> okay, so you're going to get out. This is going to be so funny to watch. Like. Your butt looks so nice. Can I try those on? Honestly, it's because I have a wedgie. But can I try them on anyway? How do I zoom? You, uh, you just a little knobby. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I also used... Wait, okay, this lighting's bad because I mean, now we don't have the natural light, so I'm just going to shine my flashlight and we'll see how that works. Yes, but I also used Yasni as a highlight and then I used um, OG Gar as my inner corner. Which you can still see, like, pop in. Um, fatties on my lid. Um, what did I do? Lovable on the outer corner and then pepper in my crease, which is normal. And... Typically, honestly, if I use a concealer and then set that with a powder before I do my makeup in the morning, it will last me the whole entire day when I'm at work. I definitely don't want to say that they're, like, waterproof or anything, but they are very long-lasting. They are. Like, you can pretty much guarantee that they will last a whole work day. School day, anything. Like, honestly, they're good. Yeah. We're not going to steer you wrong. We're out here telling you about our primer, trying to hook you up, you know? Yeah, we're not just all about pure rebellion, but we are just all about pure rebellion. We all know I really love ColourPop, too. Overall, how do you rate the eyeshadows? Honestly, Even, like, say like, you weren't my cousin. Um, honestly, I like them better than other eyeshadows I've used, so I guess I would say a 10 out of 10. Like, I have a Kat Von D palette, which I love. Um, it's, I don't think they sell it anymore, but I love it. And, I still, like, I choose these eyeshadows over those eyeshadows because, like, it is a very neutral palette, but I find myself reaching for the PRC, um, eyeshadows more just because I feel like they last longer. Like, I know if I really want, like, the copper from the, um, Kat Von D to be really pigmented, I have to wet my brush, and, like, I can just reach for Joe and get the same pigment payoff without having to, like, go and wet my brush, and it's just easier. And then I have even have, like, um, Chopper from Urban Decay, which is, like, the holy grail copper for a lot of people i still sometimes i feel like i have to kind of like scratch off some product to get the same color payoff and then i have the urban decay alice palette which they have this really they do have a really nice couple shades but i still find I mean, myself like reaching for other eyeshadows like from prc i don't know i just really enjoy it and like it's better than the morphe eyeshadows i have like i said i ripped apart my morphe palette and put my Oh, I'm going to show you. <laughs> so, oh, the okay. Z palette that I wanted was out of stock. And right, online... Let, on. let me show you what an actual Morphe palette... I mean, I'm sure you know, but... An actual Morphe Z palette. This That's, is what it So, looks like. I literally ripped out all these eyeshadows because I didn't like them. And, yeah, I just didn't like the one that I had. I think I had, like, the 35... F? P. P? 35 purple. P. Because it was more purple and everything. And so, I literally... The Forever, or the Makeup Forever palette that I wanted. Which would be? This one, funny. which is $14 for this massive palette. This is uh, just all my other eyeshadows. Yeah. I think I showed you this earlier today. Yeah. But, but it's, this is $14. It's not see-through, like, when you have a Z palette. This one I got through um, Ofra. Um, it's see-through on the top, which is nice. But I don't really mind I mean, that. honestly, for $14, this and thing this is, is massive. massive. Look at the size so difference. This is my head. It's so massive. it's big. So that's the one that I wanted. They don't sell it in store and it was sold out online. So I was like, I ran AC more that, later that day. So I got a sheet of magnetic and I literally, I messed up the first one. So I literally had to like cut and like now it's messy and like I'm scared to put some of like my newer PRC shades in here. Oh, this is the one brown that I talk about and it's my favorite. Let me just swatch that for you. I love it. It's going to be really soon. <laughs> so this is like my now bougie you're Z palette. pressure on me. Yeah, I forget why I was showing you guys this. Oh, right, because I like these eyeshadows better than my Morphe palette, and that's why I ripped apart my Morphe palette. So, anyway, I guess we really just wanted to, like, film this outro and be super extra with it. And just let you guys know that, like, the eyeshadows do last really well. And everybody, like, they love them. Brooke was wearing them today. Her sister was wearing them today. Like, we all actually wear and love the eyeshadows. That's why, like, if you're my friend, just, like, oh, check out Katie's eyeshadow. It's because I'm trying to hook you up, girl. You know, high quality with an affordable price tag. Yep. And 15% is donated. Which I think is really great anyway. That's big to me. Because I'm trying to switch to, like, cruelty-free brands. Because 
Animal testing is not the moves. I only test on myself. <laughs> and me. <laughs> and my friends. Cheyenne and Anijah. Shout out. Thanks, girls. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're okay. going to end this now because now we've just rambled on for another um, 10 minutes when this video has already been like an hour and a half long. Anyway. I'm not sorry. <clears throat> This was so, fun. We should do this more often. I know. I think we should do it Why once is, a week. Look at how big her beauty blender still is. Here. Let's get a dry let's one. Let's get an actual. Oh, I have a dry one right here. Here, right here. Oh, uh, whatever, whatever. Yeah, and this, like, isn't even, like, damp anymore. Okay. So. Same but they told me it was an original one, so. Whatever. So, anyway, okay. guys. Our anyway. eyeshadow lasted really well. We had a lot of fun today. Stop making kissy faces. And, you know. Thank you so much for watching. If you're we still it. here after however long, long this video, video ends up being, whatever. We, st I, I think we're fun. You should hang around. We appreciate. If you want to be our friend, sign the DMs. It goes down in the DMs. <laughs> Can we leave that in, please? I really enjoyed that. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So anyway, wow. Ending is hard. This is awkward. So I guess we're just gonna bye. Okay. Bye. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Link will be in the bio. Or description box <laughs> we can like pop it right here okay three two one oh, no, I'm sorry. okay three two one <laughs> okay bye <laughs>